just days ahead of the first two-man Gemini, Alexei Leonov became the first cosmonaut to walk in space. The Soviets had done it again. May 26, 1940, the beaches at Dunkirk and the beginning of an eight-day saga that prevented the complete annihilation of the Allied armies. In the face of a fierce Nazi onslaught, Belgium had collapsed and British and French troops were trapped in a pincers as German forces advanced relentlessly. Overnight, a flotilla of 900 craft was assembled to evacuate the defeated troops. And thus began one of the major miracles of World War II. British planes were in control of the air, and that cover enabled the hundreds of sea craft, manned by indomitable crews, to move into shore and pick up the men. 345,585 troops were brought safely to Britain, men who were to form the nucleus of an invading force five years later. Good. 
He's the man who holds the Guinness record for Guinness records. At last count, Ashrita Furman held eight world records, and through the years, he has garnered more than 30. From Queens, New York, to Thailand, to Fuji, to Fiji, it's hard to keep up with Furman and his amazing array of feats. I've come to sort of accept the fact that people are going to think that I'm strange, and maybe I am strange. <laughs> it was a dance for the masses at Macy's in New York City in August 1993, as 6,196 people, that's 12,392 feet, tapped their way to a Guinness World Record. On NBC's Today Show, there it is. with 17 yes. balls aloft, Bruce Crevier broke his own basketball spinning world record. That's a very rare thing to see. Nice very thing. rare to see a world record live <laughs> oh, in a studio. Man. It's unbelievable. After posing for what could have been the last photograph with his mother, Charles A. Lindbergh climbed into the cockpit of the Spirit of St. Louis, smiled once more for reporters, then took off from the grass runway of Roosevelt Field, Long Island on the foggy morning of May 20th, 1927. With no radio to communicate his position, he flew solo 5,800 kilometers in 33 and a half hours across the Atlantic to Paris. Back in New York City, he received a hero's welcome with a ticker tape parade up Broadway and a Medal of Honor from New York Governor Al Smith. For becoming the first to fly solo across the Atlantic, Charles Lindbergh became one of the most famous Americans of all time. The object is to take Concorde through Mark 1, the speed of sound, not really a sound barrier at all, and then on up towards Mark 2, try to speed of sound. 25 tons of thrust from the four reheated Olympus engines smoothly accelerates Concorde through the mythical sound barrier. Coming up to Mark 1. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just achieving Mark 2, twice the speed of sound, and with a fairly light wind today, we have a speed over the ocean of 1,340 miles. Finally, the nose is lowered to the landing position. The aircraft is guided to the runway using the ILS instrument landing system. The engines are selected to give reverse thrust whilst the pilots descend a further 17 feet to land the nose wheel. As the aircraft slows, the brakes are applied and the engines are switched back to forward idle thrust. I want to skydive before I leave this earth. What Corina Leslie wanted for her 90th birthday was to fly, and she got her wish. When she took her leap of faith from a plane high above Sun City, Arizona in June of 1992, she became the oldest tandem female parachutist in the world. Boy, was that windy. Yeah. Woo! That was absolutely fantastic. Pick your knees up, pick your knees up, pick your knees up. Okay. Would you do it again, Diane wants to know? Yes. I would do it again. Yeah. Elmer 
Elvis Presley no longer has that rock and roll beat. The tempo is hut, two, three, four for Private Presley. He's at Camp Chaffee, Arkansas, beginning his two-year army hitch courtesy of the Memphis Draft Board. Like any ex-civilian raw recruit, the king of rock and roll will be keeping time to non-hip bugle calls. Involuntarily retired, a gyrating guitarist departure from the public eye left his blue jean fans all shook up, so we hear. But Elvis doesn't seem to mind at all. On October 23, 1970, Gary Gablich secured himself one more time in the cockpit of the Blue Flame, a car designed with one purpose in mind, to capture the land speed record. A vehicle that had more in common with a missile than a car, its fuel of liquid natural gas and hydrogen peroxide combined in its rocket engine to produce 22,000 pounds of thrust, enough power to approach the speed of sound. As Gablech accelerated on the Bonneville Salt Flats of Utah, where others before had attempted such a feat, he was able to exceed, for but a moment, 650 miles per hour. When his parachute finally opened, Gary Gablech set a record run of over 631 miles per hour. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Guinness World of Records proudly presents Monsieur Henri Lamotte. I dive extraordinaire. Monsieur Lamotte will perform his world record dive from a height of 28 feet into a mere 12 and 7 eighths inches of water. <whistles> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the unflappable, the unsinkable, the unbreakable. Monsieur Henri Lamotte! June 6th, 1944, and the greatest armada in military history is assembled in England for an assault on Hitler's fortress Europe, all under the supreme command of General Dwight D. Eisenhower, who has British General Montgomery at his side. British and U.S. planes bomb the French coast around the clock, dropping 9,000 tons of explosives during a few hours before the landing. The Allies have complete control of the air and cover the surface forces as Allied troops pile into landing craft. 500 warships lay down a withering barrage, and it's the beginning of the end for Hitler's dreams of world conquest. Casualties were heavy in those early hours, but the Allies were on their way to Berlin. Hummingbirds, including the smallest of all bird species, are known for their iridescent plumage and ability to hover above flowers while drinking the nectar. Although thousands of people sought shelter from the fury of Hurricane Andrew, there was no escape. Southern Florida in August 1992. 76 people were killed. 258,000 were left homeless. Everyone felt the effects of the hurricane's power. When the storm ended, many people found that they had lost everything they owned. But like me, I'm homeless completely. I don't have anything. I mean, nothing. Completely nothing. So I don't know what I'm going to do. The losses in Florida and Louisiana from the world's most costly hurricane totaled $46.5 billion, and much more for the cost of dream shattered. Jupiter, the largest planet, has an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium gas swirling over a liquid surface. In 1979, Voyager 1 photographed the planet section by section. The photos were then assembled to show its chaotic east-west currents. On April 23, 1988, Bicycling champion Canales Canalopoulos took off in an airplane powered only by the strength of his legs. Named after the mythological Greek inventor Daedalus, the aircraft often flew only yards above the water. From Crete and across the Aegean to the Greek island of Santorini, Canales pedaled four hours and 74 miles, establishing the distance record for human-powered flight. The people of Keene, New Hampshire decided to involve the entire community in the Harvest Festival of 1993, and the community came through by carving a record break, 4,817 jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Inspired by their success, 
the people of Keene more than doubled their record the following year by carving an astounding 10,540 jack-o'-lanterns. Lee Redmond's fingernails get a lot of attention. In fact, the retired hairstylist was once offered $10,000 to cut her 11-inch nails on national television in Japan. She refused. Why? She said that she's attached to them. It looks like the far side of some uninhabited planet, but such desolation was a familiar sight to people who lived on the big island of Hawaii. The world's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa has averaged one eruption every four and a half years since 1843. The last eruption was in 1984, but few people could get close enough to witness the full power and destructive beauty of the molten rivers that carpeted almost 2,000 square miles of the island, or to see the calliope of lava exploding from deep inside the earth. Ever since he was a boy, Paul Tavilla has amazed his family and friends with his natural talents. And on July 7, 1985, Tavilla went for the gold. Standing at the base of a 38-story high-rise in downtown Boston, Tavilla awaited the fateful grape. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth for champion grape catcher Paul Tavilla. Launched in 1972, NASA's Pioneer 10 spacecraft has accomplished many firsts. One was a successful passage through the rocky asteroid belt, a feat which greatly alleviated the fears of scientists concerned about damage to far-traveling spacecraft. Having safely journeyed the some two and a half billion miles to Jupiter, Pioneer 10 transmitted valuable scientific information back to Earth information shedding new light on the composition and evolution of Jupiter and its moons. Pioneer 10 will travel beyond all the known planets and become the first man-made object to leave the solar system. As NASA's deep space network continues to track the spacecraft out to around five billion miles, researchers hope to learn more about the boundary between the sun's atmosphere and true interstellar space. Pioneer 10, a spacecraft that has journeyed further than any other to the outer planets, and now beyond our solar system. A man-made object which will, from a new vantage point, in Whitman's words, look up in perfect silence at the stars. On the sun's immense sphere is a surface full of cataclysms, sunspots, flares, prominences, the record sunspot was 7 billion square miles. Flares can erupt to an area of 386,000 square miles, and the prominences seen here can shoot to heights of up to 124,000 miles. In 1931, a 13-year-old Boy Scout is playing leapfrog with his friends. He is young Robert Wadlow, who is an incredible 7 feet 1 and 3 quarter inches tall and growing fast. Four years later, in his high school library, Robert has grown to the unbelievable height of eight feet, one inch, and shows no sign of stopping. Robert Wadlow eventually reached the astounding height of eight feet, 11.1 inches tall at the age of 22. In addition to being a gentle, compassionate man, he also became the tallest human in the recorded history of the world. The second largest planet is the least dense of all planets. But its most fascinating feature, the rings, yielded more surprises when seen close up by the Voyager spacecraft. The rings appeared highly structured with annular variations as numerous as grooves on a phonograph record, and seen for the first time was a pattern of spokes and bands. Kazakhstan, October the 4th, 1957. A Soviet Vostok rocket thrusts its way through the clouds towards Earth orbit. There it delivered Sputnik, a tiny man-made satellite, and the age of space was born. A Soviet triumph that amazed the world and stunned the Americans.
Averaging 6.3 tons, the largest living land animal is the African bush elephant. A typical adult bull stands 10 feet 6 inches at the shoulders and uses its trunk to grab tree branches for food. Its trunk is so powerful that it is capable of uprooting entire trees. And its appetite so large that it can consume up to 500 pounds in one day. Its average length from the tip of its trunk to the tip of its tail is 25 feet. Yet the largest recorded African bush elephant reached 35 feet long and weighed 13 and a half tons. An aerial giant, the Air Force's B-52 Global Bomber, joins the far-flung defense network of the Strategic Air Command. The six-jet aircraft can top 600 miles an hour and climb to an amazing 50,000 feet. With air-to-air -air refueling, it will be able to reach any point on Earth. Dropping its wheels as it prepares to come in for a landing, the jet heavyweight is 156 feet long and 185 feet from wingtip to wingtip. A supersonic bomber with a global range, the B-52 spreads the armor of American aerial might around the world. There are rumors around that this is Britain's revenge for the Boston Tea Party. 3,000 screaming teenagers are at New York's Kennedy Airport to greet, you guessed it, the Beatles. This rock and roll group has taken over as the kingpins of musical appreciation among the younger element. Some music critics call their harmony unmistakably diatonic. Others say it's pandiatonic. Parents say it's just plain pandemonium. Their first meeting with the American press brings forth an interview laced with quips and humor. You'd laugh, too with a gross of $17 million last year. <laughs> New York City cops are hard-pressed for taking the Beatles at their hotel. On every side, there is hero worship that recalls the heydays of Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra. With one Beatle bedded with a sore throat, three of the quartet take an airing in Central Park. There was absolutely no truth to the rumor that the zoo's laughing hyena was driven underground. The Boeing 747-400 is the largest airliner in the world and the latest version of the famed jumbo jet that first flew on February 9, 1969. Since then, its passenger capacity has almost doubled so that the latest model can hold up to 660 passengers. The first 747-400 entered service with Northwest Airlines on January 26, 1989. With a wingspan of 213 feet, and a total length of 231 feet and 10 inches, better than two-thirds the length of a football field. The 747-400 weighs 665,000 pounds with fuel. Powered by four jet engines that deliver an average of 52,000 pounds of thrust, the 747 consumes five and a half pounds of fuel per second. At its cruising altitude of 35,000 feet, almost seven miles high, the 747-400 averages 565 miles per hour. Its range of 8,000 miles means that it can fly the equivalent of the distance from Los Angeles, California, across the Pacific Ocean to Sydney, Australia, without refueling. The cheetah, a spotted carnivore of the cat family, is the fastest of all land animals over short distances. Racing after its prey in long, powerful strides, it can easily achieve speeds in excess of 60 miles per hour. A long, heavy tail helps the cheetah keep its balance while making sharp turns at high speed. The problem how to save a hotel fated to be destroyed by an encroaching mall? The answer, move it, all three million pounds of it. Built in 1906 and built to last, the Hotel Fairmount was located in an historic district in San Antonio, Texas. Could it survive being hoisted on hydraulic jacks and transported to a new location? Moving very slowly along the route, the crew had to reinforce bridges and remove traffic lights and parking meters. Needless to say, this six-day ordeal was a crowd pleaser. 
and the Hotel Fairmount took its rightful place just a few blocks away from where it was born. For the giraffe, the tallest living mammal, even standing up isn't easy. Measuring up to 20 feet from hoof to horn, the giraffe walks in an awkward pacing gait. Two left, two right, two left, two right. But that pattern vanishes as the animal breaks into a gallop. With tail up and neck rocking, the giraffe lopes gracefully across the African savanna at nearly 35 miles per hour. They ship is riding majestically toward us like some great feather. And these giant flagships standing here, the American Airlines flagships, waiting to rise into all points in the United States when they get the ship moored. It's practically standing still now. They've dropped rope out of the nose of the ship. The rain had uh, slacked up a little bit. Back motors of the ship are just holding it uh, just enough to keep it from... It's burst into flames. Get this started. Get this started. It's, fight, and it's crashing. It's crashing terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, please. It's burning and bursting into flames, and, and it's falling on the morning bass, and all the folks between us. This is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's... it's, 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 it's 20, oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. It, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now, and the frame is crashing to the ground, not quite to the mooring mass. All the humanity and all the fans are just screaming around here. I don't do it. I can't even talk to people whose friends are out there. It's a... It's, it's a oh, I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. Honest, it's just laying there a mass of smoking wreckage. And everybody can hardly breathe and talk and scream. Lady, I, I, I'm sorry. The noisiest animal on land is the howler monkey, whose territorial calls can be heard from distances as far as 10 miles. If the howler left its native Central and South America and screamed from the top of the Empire State Building, it might be heard in all five boroughs of New York City. The largest of all lizards is the Komodo monitor, who averages 7 feet 5 inches in length and weighs 130 pounds. Like other monitors, this giant reptile is carnivorous, feeding on animals like small deer and bush pigs. With their long, sharp claws and jagged teeth, they can be deadly to humans when cornered. On July 3rd, 1938, the Mallard steam locomotive reached an amazing 125 miles per hour as it sped over a 1,320-foot stretch at Stoke Bank, Great Britain. Driver Joseph Duddington and fireman Thomas Bray pushed the steam engine to its limits. Its run recreated here, the steam locomotive reached its record speed while pulling seven coaches weighing 267.9 tons. The rare mountain gorilla of East Central Africa is among the largest living primate species. At about 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighing nearly 350 pounds, these massive creatures appear intimidating and ferocious. In reality, like other gorillas, they are gentle, intelligent, and highly social. The fastest creature on the wing is the peregrine falcon. A strong flyer with great agility, this bird of prey can swoop down at a velocity of 168 miles per hour and in a dive reach 217, making it a real threat to birds and small mammals. The polar bear, more predatory than playful, is among the heaviest of all meat-eating animals. Adult males average between 850 and 900 pounds while the largest have weighed in at over a ton. They survive in the Arctic largely on a diet of seals. The red kangaroo, the biggest of 40 species of roo, the biggest marsupial. Normally a rather solitary animal, but they come together in times of drought. Mostly the male is red, the females are a blue-gray, and so are the young, mostly. They're born no bigger than a bean, climb up their mother's belly, into the pouch, and onto a teat. Live in the dark for three months, growing. There's Rue, just begun to peer out. 
Yellowstone National Park has two famous geysers, Old Faithful seen here, and its companion, the Steamboat Geyser, tallest in the world and capable of reaching 150 feet in height. The slowest mammal is the three-toed sloth, which spends most of its life upside down in trees. On the ground, it must crawl because of its weak back legs and can move only six to eight feet in a minute. America has launched another battleship of the Iowa class, the Missouri, the christening ceremony being performed with gusto by the daughter of a senator from Missouri State. A ship of at least 45,000 tons with a design speed of over 30 knots, she will presumably carry nine 16-inch guns as well as 25-inch. The United States Navy is rapidly growing into the most powerful fleet in the world. The Missouri, built at a cost of about $100 million, is the latest heavy addition to it, and she'll undoubtedly have a word to say to Japan about Pearl Harbor. The Wright brothers were the first to achieve successful flight with a self-propelled, heavier-than-air craft. Their biggest problem had been finding a light, powerful engine. But with the help of Charles Taylor, they were able to design and build their own engine and propellers. Using additional acceleration for takeoff with a falling weight and pulley system, they are seen here during one of their test flights. Theodore Roosevelt was vice president under William McKinley, but an assassin's bullet cut McKinley's second term short in September of 1901, making Roosevelt the youngest president ever to assume the office. The White House became home to a president 42 years and 10 months in age, Barely a year in national office, Roosevelt rose to the occasion and served with distinction. In 1904, he was elected in his own right to serve another term. The great Jesse Owens won four gold medals in track and field at the 1936 Olympics. Although that record has been surpassed, another astounding achievement has not. In May 1935, Owen set an amazing six world records in a period of only 45 minutes. Push your throttle up and give us chamber pressure. Roger, you got the full throttle? You're running at 30 percent. 30 percent? How are we going, Roger? Roger, uh, you're going by Mud Lake. It looks like a landing at Mud Lake. Uh, I look from the smoke down there like there's a very tiny bit of wind from uh, perhaps south and a little bit east. Six, five, four, we've gone for main engine start. Back in. 
It went well from the start, each man slotting into place on cue. As they approached the record mark, they disappeared from view to those of us on the ground. But our camera, with a parachutist following them down, shows the stack continuing to form. But had they got the record? When they broke through, the judge on the ground quickly counted and made it 24. They'd got the record, but only if they'd held the stick for the required 10 seconds. But as far as the jumpers were concerned, they'd done it. And as they came into land, their shouts said it all. Landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. In 1961, during the space race with the Soviet Union, President John Kennedy pledged that the United States would have a man on the moon before the decade was out. The Soviets responded with a space woman, launching Valentina Tereshkova into orbit in June 1963. Tereshkova completed 48 Earth orbits in three days. The original Constitution did not grant suffrage to women, denying them the right to vote. During the early 1900s, women's associations became militant as thousands marched and demonstrated in cities across the country. Known as the suffragettes, their hard work resulted in the 19th Amendment being passed in 1920, granting to all American women the right to vote. A huge hull for the world's biggest aircraft leaves its hangar at Culver City, California and begins a 24-mile overland journey to Long Beach. One wing alone has greater span than a super fortress, and when completed, the huge aerial behemoth will be powered by eight 3,000 horsepower engines. Howard Hughes designed the winged Colossus, which opens new horizons in man's conquest of the sky. On April the 12th, 1961, Test pilot Yuri Gagarin was about to attempt man's first journey into space. If he failed, the world might never know, for the strictest media blackout prevailed. One boy asked from Mission Chief Sergei Korolev, and Gagarin was on his way. to make a single orbit of Earth. Yuri Gagarin was in space and the Soviets could tell the world. 